In the year 1997, the future is in chaos and turmoil. Mankind is on the brink of extinction. Brave survivors band together and build a time displacement apparatus to receive a signal from a parallel future. This transmission is the Boondicott. To the Voondacast, the official podcast of Voondablog.com, the home of of some wrestling today. Wrestling. Uh, I am your tag team partner and host, Steven. And with me today, uh, my wrestling tag team partner, non-binary champion, trials of trivia champion... The four star, they of they's, D Rock in the house. Four stars is that out of out of five, out of six, out of seven, out of the the, the, the scale, the, the, the three trivia champs championships. Oh, four stars, yeah. Four. And the non-binary championship, and, and yeah, there you go. Full Boom. on, yeah. Boom! Get the t-shirts printed. Let's go. Got it all. I got my belt up on the wall, man. You know, signed by Day. I was thinking about that belt. It's signed by Daniel Bryan. We got. Rick Flair. Rick Flair. When the when did when did when did you you got the that's when did that was you. Those are all other than the dust. I don't. Color, I didn't get the Flair signature. You definitely got the Flair signature. I don't remember getting the Flair signature. For sure, you did that. Cause I, I literally. I didn't. What's funny? Okay, now that you're saying it, maybe now I remember. It. <laughs> but I, I, that's how little I care about Rick Flair. <laughs> <laughs> Although he's the best in the worst way. Yes. Um. That that's wow, Dusty Flair and Daniel Bryan. Dusty is the only one that I got. I got that one. That was the first one in person. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, that was awesome. So so yeah, that's the lineage of our belt. You should, you should take some photos. Yeah, of, man. Put it on Instagram. It's an amazing lineage. Um, it would have been amazing to get um, Jay Briscoe to sign this belt. Oh yeah. Who was uh, a two-time Ring of Honor World Champion. As long as well as a 13-time ROH uh, tag world champion, uh, and this podcast is uh, dedicated to Jay Briscoe, and in his honor, we're gonna do a commentary track, as you can tell from the title, <laughs> for uh, High Incident SGC versus Dem Boys in GCW from April of 2022. Uh, GCW Old Me. We are gonna start the commentary track, um, now, and it starts directly after the little bumper that they put in for when they built the scaffold. So we're gonna do that in three, two, fun, boom. Here we go. And boom, we got a scaffold. So I, I have never seen this match. D-Rock has. Yeah, I watched this one live when it was happening. I, I'd forgotten that it was as long ago as as April. I thought it was a little bit later in the year. But yeah, this is a this is a crazy match. This is a this is like a stretch of time where I like just got so into GCW that I just started buying up their shows even though I probably shouldn't have <laughs> spent the money. But I just like I was dying to to like follow along, and and now the GCW universe is is way more easy to follow along with a I think five six dollar subscription to to Fight Plus. Yeah, which I still have not gotten for some reason. <laughs> uh, I'll give you my my passcode. It's all right. We'll share oh, the don't password. Don't say that on the podcast. <laughs> Why? When I say that, that's a euphemism for murdering a human being. <laughs> Suck that, FBI. <laughs> Way better. Yeah. 
<laughs> Federal booty inspectors. That's what you get. <laughs> so, in typical GCW fashion, we are staring at an empty ring, and they don't have a shot of the entrance yet. Well, I don't think they're out yet. Yo, yes, they're, here they're they staring at the hole. Here we go. Here they come. Mance Warner. Oh, it's, it's punk, man. It's fucking it's punk. It's not, it's not the, uh, the polished production. And that is the beauty of GCW. They are the most punk rock feeling major wrestling promotion in the U.S. Punk rock and metal and all kinds of stuff. I actually... You oh know, my god, is this one of the shows where the guy with, with the guy with the jug of piss... Is this the guy with the jug of piss? Oh no. Why does he have piss? It's not piss. <laughs> oh. It's it was, I think it's an it was, alcoholic piss. No, I think it's like like iced tea or something. And then they kept saying the announcers kept saying it's piss. And then yeah. for like three shows in a row, Joey Janela would always drink the piss. And, uh, oh, nice. That reminds me. Of, I've been watching old episodes of Boy Meets World to feel young again. <laughs> and there's this gag where Corey thinks his teacher's offering him, uh, like, like alcohol. And so he, like, pours himself this, like, giant, this giant cup of, like, booze, he thinks. And it turns out it's just apple juice. <laughs> and he got, he got gagged. He pretends to, like, be drunk. And... No, no, he's just disappointed. Uh, uh, you know. He's, hasn't been given the privileges. This is great. Look at this. This entrance. So I so I love the levels. So what's his name? Matthew Justice. Justice, that's right. Okay. Mance is always, I think, very recognizable to me since he's been on AEW television. Right, yes, that's but true, yeah. Matthew yeah, Justice match. hasn't gotten that. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a Matthew Justice singles match. Well, and Mance Warner is just so much more recognizable, just his face. He has those eyes and the that weird look. Matthew Justice is just, like, a good-looking guy. Yeah. I feel like Mance Warner, if, like, you found out he was, like, the illegitimate son of, like, one of the bushwhackers, <laughs> yes! you would be like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that you totally know? makes sense, yeah. Of course he is. Right. That makes so much sense. They should just have an angle like that. They should just make it up. Just be like, yeah. So, so, fun fact. I don't think I've ever actually seen a full scaffold match. Really? I've only ever seen, like, you know, the, the death, the, the, you know, the, the crazy shit that... Right. That, uh... The clips of that people, people falling like, to their deaths. Like, freaking, what's his name? Uh, the New Jack threw that New guy Jack, off and tried to Jack. murder him. Yes, Vic Grimes. Tried to kill Vic Grimes. Yeah. Um, I think this is the only scaffold match I've seen all the way through myself, so... The scaffold match seems, like, too undignified for, like, WWE, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, no, they would never... Like, this is... This, like, you know, like... Scaffolds are for construction, they're I'm, not for wrestling. I would be sort of surprised to see even, like, AEW do one, but I'm sure at some point... They'll be like, oh, let's do a scaffold match. Moxley will be like, yeah, let's do it. Moxley and, uh, and Guevara just throw them off the scaffold. Yo, and them boys are just coming straight in. They're not they're not giving it too much pomp. They're, they're being serious for their opponents here. Yeah, they're just, like, focused. Which is dope. So are the belts on the line? Yeah, this is for the belts. So is this how they won the belts? Um... I don't remember, actually. Okay. But, because I, I, no, I don't think so, because I think Bussy won the belts from them boys. Okay. With help from SGC. And then this, that's for this. And that, I mean, that might have followed from this, but I feel like that was not that long ago, not as long ago as April. Like, I don't, I don't feel like that happened so close to, like, WrestleMania and WrestleCon weekend and shit. I feel like that was Because then I think Bussy dropped the belt to Macizo, right? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Yo, this crowd is hot. Is this Detroit? Is it? I, I don't know. It looks kind of like Detroit. Let me see. Yeah. 
Let me check the information machine. It's interesting they're not starting on top. That's a... I think that's that's a smart way to do it. Like, a lot of scaffold matches, at least that I've seen, it's like two guys just start the match on the scaffold, and that's like the whole match, basically. Although maybe, I don't know, I haven't, this is the only match, the only scaffold match I've seen all the way through, so maybe I'm full of shit on that. But it definitely makes more sense to start on the floor and, like, actually wrestle a little Yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta build up to the scaffold. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, redneck kung fu, look at that. Oh, Nick Gage is on commentary. And we got a a classic WCW split screen. Yes, yeah, good. So that none of the action is. Good. Even though everything is kind of together right now, they, they went to the screen and then everybody like got in the same court. Came together. <laughs> now they're splitting up a little bit. Mark is. Is is he approaching the scaffold? Are they are they getting towards? It looks like they're getting like near the scaffold. They might be. Well, they're getting in the ring, I guess. So you win by throwing your opponent off the scaffold and through the tables. I think you win by pinfall or submission. Actually, I think the scaffold the scaffold is just. An like, event that will happen? The thing, yeah, just like a, a prop no, I think to, you, I think you to gotta use oh to win the match. Oh my god. Whoa. The table didn't even break. Drop kick to Justice. Oh my and goodness. Nothing. Yeah, this is this is them boys in their element. Right? Wow, and the crowd is so close to the, to the ring. Yeah. And fucking Jay just threw that chair like nothing. Like, oh my god. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's, I was, well, I was watching uh, 98 Royal Rumble, and, you know, any match that Terry Funk is part of it, you're always going to get some vintage Terry Funk moments, one of which is him just throwing a chair <laughs> without any regard for whether or not there's an audience member in its path. Um, and also, when he gets eliminated, his pants are falling down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's great. Oh, some titty slapping. Oh, and some mud stomping. Oh, more titty slaps. Oh, yeah. Firing back on Jake Briscoe, who returns fire with a headbutt. Look at the, I mean, the the ring is already a mess. Like, they, they've already ransacked. The poor, those poor people who had to set this up, and then they're just like, no, what? You're supposed to go through the tables. What are you doing? And the Briscoes are, like, perfect for GCW. Like, oh, yeah, for sure. They, I mean, there's, you can tell they're in their element here. Like, it's almost as if, like, I don't know, Brett... Brett Lauderdale's history, but yeah, you know they seem like the prototypical GCW type of wrestlers. They really do. It's it's. I I I I don't know if they've been in GCW before this, but it would be surprising to me if they hadn't. Yeah, this is Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan. Great wrestling city. Motor City Mayhem in action. Yeah, man. Oh, another oh chair God, throw. Chair throwing in this match. They don't hold anything back, man. Right in the what? Right in the mush. In the mush? They said tush. In the tush. Punch him in the tush. <laughs> what, are you, what match are you calling here? <laughs> it's not a pussy match. There was an attack to his took us. Didn't even know. Uh, I think the, the, the proper, oh, I think shit. the proper wrestling term is keister. That's the. Uh, I've always wanted to make like a wrestling uh, announcer lexicon anatomy chart of like. Breadbasket and Keister and you know like Family uh, Jewels. And I always I've I've probably mentioned this on a podcast before, but my favorite of all time 
was when Gorilla Monsoon, I don't even remember where the guy got hit, but he was like, oh, right in the occipital protuberance. <laughs> I was like, what is an occipital protuberance? Yeah. Yeah, my new goal is to go to an AEW show with a sign for Ethan Page that says, show me your puppies for his tightest hits in the game. Nice. Because he would say that, because he said on, on AEW that, that he'd be down to someone told to show his puppies, he'd, he'd do it. Yeah. That's awesome. Is that a fan back there? Who the fuck is that? I think that's what we did should we just Did we just get a bump through that? I think I missed this bump through the table. Yeah, we just got a collision at the table. And there's blood? Oh my god. This match is... Yeah, they've done some massive damage in the last, like, yeah. 60 seconds. Here we go. Just Replay. Keep throwing chairs at each other. Oh, it was like a Russian leg sweep. Oh, oh man. man. We are good at commentary tracks. <laughs> We're on it. Cast. We're on top of everything. We're on it. Oh, double yeah. karate oh, chop. Oh, I love the that's the that Mongolian chop, man. That's one of my favorites. Oh my oh, god! Wow. Damn. Matthew Hell. Justice just taking brain cells away from Mark Briscoe. Yeah, man. Oh no. That was that was a CT special. Oh no. What they look at this? They're this is such like great use of Our, space. Oh like God. they Are have they been building a plane all over the fucking place, and now they're going up on the stage. Oh, oh my God! The chair throwing, bro. Justice, Jesus. take it easy, Matthew. Yeah, man. The gospel of Matthew is smell his chairs. of iron permeating. Yeah, that's it. Vintage Kevin Gill, right there. I don't even know if that's if it was Kevin Gill that said that, but I just assumed. He likes to throw in big words to <laughs> to stretch time out. Oh, no, don't carve his face with a piece of table. Oh, my God. He's already bleeding so much. Oh, nasty. Blood everywhere. Oh, my God. I know there's a lot of people for whom this is a highly desirable endeavor, bucket list item, perhaps, but I would never in a million years... Stand front row at a GCW show. <laughs> I would be terrified out of my mind. I would go anywhere near these people. <laughs> I'd be down. I'd be down for like corner. <laughs> yeah, like pr protect you. You can like sink back into the crowd if anything. If you can go front row corner or just be in like corner area, I'd be down for that. Or I'd probably want to be in like the walk-in entrance. Like that's the, that's a sweet spot. Yeah, yeah, that that's a good, that's a good spot. They're going. Oh my God, they're, they're going oh back. no, backstage. Back to, to the to get lobby. up to the oh, platform. Oh, they have to go there to get to the stage. Oh no. Oh my goodness, what's gonna happen here? Whoa, hey this fans, time for some live wrestling. Oh, this is yeah. <laughs> Matthew Justice loves to throw chairs. No one, no one. His favorite thing, just throwing chairs. That's that should be. His he didn't throw it at anybody that time. He's just throwing. That should be his new gimmick. He's the chair oh, juggler. Look at their back blood. Oh, what is that from? There's no like glass or barbed wire here. That's the leftover. That might be the leftover glass from. Uh, oh, it might be. Yeah. From the Jimmy Lloyd match. Yeah. The crowd already with a this is awesome chance. Yeah, how far into this match are we? Like, what, like 10 minutes maybe? Oh, oh no! Jesus. Matthew Justice, arrest him! Jesus. He's, oh, he, he sets up his own camera. You see that shit? Look at that. Oh no! That is a true Mark star. through the table. True star right there. Oh no, Jay's behind you. Watch out. 
Oh, and there's your oh, chair. Oh, and there's a fucking house. So many. Some revenge. Another. So many unprotected. That was, that was protected. That was a little protected. A little bit. That was protected. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. oh wow. That's how you wanted to take that bump, really? He, I mean. Clearly, there's something else that they're planning that he didn't want to take away the thunder. That's about to. No, nope, they're just gonna what? come down there. They're just gonna hop? Okay, cool. Wait, he's getting in the ring now. And so. Oh, they need a table. Guy. We need a table. Helping him out. We forgot to set up the table. The ring crew is helping them with the tables. Yeah, let's. In another venue. That, that should be, be a disqualification, man. You know? Unfair advantage. Well, I guess they're available for whoever wants to to set up a table. And like, yeah, we help you. Yeah, that's our job. It's a much smarter way you to do it. You put them through the tables, we set up the tables. It's a much smarter way to do it than having, the, having to have the wrestler, like, waste all this time setting up a table and like every second goes by it becomes less believable that it's going to work and the per- the other person's not going to wake up but isn't that the drama of it is that you're so <coughs> heinous that you are setting up uh, a table Big Vin, that's that guy's name. What is happening? This is okay. They took a break. The, yeah, they're kind of. The, this is, is awesome. Chance are over, and now <laughs> the, we're waiting for the next spot to happen. Now we're chance. rearranging furniture for the next couple okay, minutes. Okay, thank you, thank you, yeah, Jay. Let's, yes, let's pick it up. There you punching. go. Thank you, Jay. That's a very underrated thing. Look at these. Like everybody's like, I, you need do you need a chair, do you need a table. What do you need? We got what you need, man. Oh no! Whoa. On to him! On to Matthew Justice. He did it on his own partner. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> I'm gonna come get I'm gonna you. go over there? Okay, you wanna go over here? No, I'll go there. Okay, I'll go over there. I need some more furniture. Come on, let's go. I like that he's like grabbing his ankle and shit. Like. I was saying, that's what I was about to say is that's like such an underrated thing to like when you need when you when when the suspension of disbelief is getting too high to the point where like the crowd is gonna think like why is this person still down to so just throw in like oh okay, punch him and like you know keep him down and, you know that's, that's one of the things I always tell people about. I mean, I hate to, you know, promote Chris Benoit on our podcast or anything like that, but he was always, and and Brian Danielson does this too, where, like, if you take too long with anything, they'll start fighting back on you, and you have to, like, subdue them again if you take too long. (coughs) That's, like, a really underrated detail. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. This is cray cray because they have taken apart this stack of tables to the point now they have only one layer of tables in the ring now. To so protect them. To protect them when they fall. Maybe they'll stack some more. Maybe they will. Oh no. And he caught it. Yeah, that was like run his elbow too, man. That's just that hurt. Holy. Oh. Whoa, Mance eats Mance. that. He likes it. Don't do that to me. I like it. It's like vitamins. <laughs> Yo. You need those tables. Don't do that. Yeah, man. This is... I actually really like the lighting for this. Like, you know. Yeah. Well, when you have a scaffold in the ring, it's kind of there's dram- opportunities for lighting there. <laughs> it's very dramatic, you know? Like, there's, there's something cinematic about this. Yeah, there's like a... What, are they racing now? like an now? overhead spotlight. Almost. Are they they're racing to who is going to kill... No, they're just trying to get up there fast so that they don't get up. They just said it's a race to the top. Oh. 
Well, they're racing to the top so that the guys don't move. Damn, Look at this. They're going to... No. No, Mark. On one layer of tables? No. You people are crazy pants. Oh and this God. is... Look, this is great. Look. It's Matthew Justice and it's... Mark. Mark Briscoe. Oh! My fuck. They didn't even punch each other up there? They were just like... No, they were just like, let's go, man. Let's get down. And we got our first Kevin Gill removing of the headset of this match. Or I guess I should say throwing of the headset. We have the bell! Wait, what? See, it was that a was... race. It was a race. What the hell? It Wait, was a race. so whoever See? was That's how you first. Win. A member from East team has gone through the table. Therefore, this match is declared a draw. A draw? A member of each team. A draw, I forgot about that. With those dives off the, off the scaffold, Is that really the ending? Holy shit. Draw. Fight forever. Yeah, uh, uh. That's why I always want to do. I was going to start a fight forever chant when people are like, whoa. <laughs> no, no, let's restart it. Let's go. Yeah, fight forever. Fight forever, we told you. I Whoa. said fight forever! If they had done who had fallen through first, I think that would have been Yeah, but that's more so, fair. like, yeah. you can't Like, even, it's a photo finish, you know? You can't do a photo finish in wrestling, though. Like, Why not? It's not... Did he get his foot on the, the rope crowd, sometimes? The you crowd, gotta do it. The crowd wouldn't accept that as fair. Yeah. But a draw is also, like, I mean, it's hard to complain about that. So I guess they figured, and that, you know, they want to continue the feud, obviously, too, so. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. I'm not against having draws. Yeah, me neither. I just, you know, it's a scaffold match, so you don't expect a draw. It's, yeah, it's just weird. Draws it's like, unexpected. you're like, wait, a draw? Especially the way it happens, you're like, holy shit, that was amazing, but wait, it's a draw now? Like, those two things don't seem to go together. Jumping off a scaffold and a draw. And, uh... Yeah. But it works, I think it works. And it's weird to see Jay, like, so bloody and so, like, destroyed, given is... what's happened to him. And that's it, that's our show. Oh, for the day. and that's the end, there we go. Uh, but, but, you know, this is what he, he dreamed of doing, and he did it, he did it since he was a teenager. He did it for over 20 years, Yeah, since, right? he, since he was a teenager. Yeah. And, uh... Live the dream, I mean. And what a great year in wrestling to have, to have the feud he had with FTR. Yeah, I mean, to go, at, like, as much as, like, you know, I don't want to put it this way, obviously, and it's a tragedy and everything, but, like... If you got to go out too early, like, they couldn't have gone out on a better year. Like, those three matches with FTR are going to fucking live on forever. And they had a bunch of good matches with GCW. They had a match mm -hmm. with Aussie Open. They faced basically the, the top tag teams in the world mm -hmm. um, this year. And uh, they were supposed to be in AEW. Uh, the Bucks said yeah. that that when they were putting together AEW, the three tag teams that they wanted to build the division with were the Briscoes, the Lucha Brothers, and and obviously themselves. Wow. And they just couldn't get them uh, on TV. Damn. Um, it's a shame. Yeah, I wish they could have done more of a tribute. Like I think they did something after they went off the air. Yeah, and there's gonna be a but, tribute, and on, it'll be on ROH TV. <coughs> on the on the honor club and they said for they're free. gonna put it on YouTube too so uh so, so I look forward to watching that yeah for sure and you know if there's one thing that we know AEW does very well it is a memorial yeah, <laughs> to a dead real. athlete unfortunately for real um cause the Brody tribute was was so fitting yeah man um when that happened that was that was a an emotional show for sure so. Um, and I hope that now that, you know, ROH is in uh, Tony Khan's hands, we get, like, ROH action figures, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. you know, that'll hopefully help take care of his family and stuff like that. Yeah, that would be really cool. Is, like, that type of merchandise uh, really circulating. Cool. And, sure. 
And yeah. So, any final thoughts? Um, just, uh, rest in peace, Jay Briscoe. You will not be forgotten. A... Uh, tweet us at Lumbercast. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to like. <laughs> Check us out on YouTube, Lumbercast Productions. Transition into hawking our stuff. <laughs> on TikTok at Lumbercast. Um, this is gonna kind of be the format. Hopefully, for the rest of the years, we'll have some match commentaries and some wrestling content uh, sprinkled throughout the year. Yeah, some classic stuff. Um, as well as more Yule Log coverage is coming in February. Yeah, man. And we're going to talk about some uh, Jimmy Cameron movies, and we're going to celebrate some some anniversaries, so we have an exciting year planned for the Vundacast. Lots of fun stuff, yeah. Uh, Hopefully no one gets hit by a bus, and uh, (laughs) this can actually happen. Um, but... Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, tell your friends. Tell your mom. Uh, I've been Steven. And I have been D-Rock. And uh, remember, kids. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Cherish your loved ones. Yeah. 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 Do a serious one. Yeah. <laughs> Cherish the time you have with yeah. the people you love and the things you enjoy. Hey, Wonder. Hey, Wonder. Wondercast? Give yeah. it up for Wondercast, man. What an adorable name. You're listening to the Wondercast. What's up, everybody? This is Jason David Frank, Greek Ranger. You're listening to Wondercast. Oh, my God! Find it at Vundacast, and I know they love Effie. Subscribe to the Vundacast.